हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सुनील कक्कर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम पोदार मैनेजमेंट एंड टेक्निकल कैंपस जयपुर टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस is also called as cost volume profit analysis and is a technique which shows how to identify level of output and sales volume at which the firms breaks even which means the revenues being sufficient to cover all its costs now let us talk about break even point break even point is that point of output level of the firm where firm's total revenues are equal to total costs equationally we can write break even point as total cost equals to total revenue or total sales break even analysis shows the relationship between the costs associated the costs are classified as fixed cost and variable cost a fixed cost remains fixed no matter what the level of output is a fixed cost is one that is independent of the level of sales rather it is related to the passage of time there are few examples like rent salaries and insurance these are the items which we need to pay even if we have zero output a variable cost is one that is directly related to the level of sales or production such as cost of goods sold and commissions it only moves up with the increase in production level or increase in sales level let us now have a look upon the different types of costs associated with break even analysis total cost is treated as total fixed costs plus total variable cost total revenue is calculated as total output which can be represented by q multiplied by price per unit of output that is p economic profit or loss is calculated as total revenue minus total costs we can also calculate break even point with the help of total revenue and total cost which is equals to total revenue minus total cost and break even point is always functions here at zero capacity costs here are simplified as total cost as we discussed earlier is a sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost we can have the formula to find out the total fixed cost which is equals to total cost minus total variable cost and similarly we can also draw the formula of total variable cost which is equals to total cost minus total fixed cost we are talking 
talking about the assumptions of break even analysis total fixed cost remain constant at each level of output and variable cost per unit remains constant at all the level of outputs but the total variable cost vary with the level of output second assumption is techniques of production and returns to a factor of production remains constant so law of constant return applies here to firms factor of production in other words we can say variable costs change at a constant rate third assumption goes with the price of output of the firm or sales price remains constant thus change in total revenue and total output is at constant ratio fourth assumption is about the volume of output of a firm and the volume of sales are identical we have to mark a note that without these assumptions break even analysis and its calculation is next to impossible and a little change in any of the assumption may affect the calculation of break even analysis or may affect the firm's break even let us now talk about the methods of break even analysis the first method is contribution the second method is profit volume ratio or pv ratio the third method is break even point which is also called as bep and fourth method is margin of safety let us have a look upon the general profit table or profit statement which is very helpful in the calculations of break even analysis if we deduct the variable cost from the total sales amount we will get the contribution and if the fixed cost is deducted from the contribution amount we will get the total profit or loss please note that these calculations are highly important further for the calculations of various formulas and getting solutions of break even analysis let's talk about the contribution now which is the first method of break even analysis contribution represents between sales and variable cost equationally we can find the contribution as sales minus variable cost or we can also find contribution with the help of fixed cost and profit if we add fixed cost and profit we will get the contribution this can also be analyzed with the previous statement of profit which we discussed earlier we can also say from the previous statements that sales minus variable cost is equals to fixed cost plus profit which is also regarded as the marginal cost equation the second method of break even analysis is profit volume ratio or pv ratio p 
DV ratio is calculated as contribution divided by sales and the resulting figure is multiplied by 100. Please note that PV ratio is always calculated in percentage. PV ratio is also calculated with the help of sales figures and variable cost. It is calculated as sales minus variable cost whole divided by sales and the resulting figure is multiplied by 100. We can also calculate PV ratio with the help of the values of fixed cost, profit and sales. Here PV ratio is calculated as fixed cost plus profit whole divided by sales and the resulting figure is multiplied by 100. There is another formula to calculate PV ratio. We can find the value of PV ratio with the help of variable cost and sales given. It is calculated as 1 minus variable cost divided by sales and the entire resulting figure is multiplied by 100. Profit volume ratio is also calculated with the help of sales and profit figures of two different periods. Here two periods may represent year, months or weeks. So we can calculate PV ratio as change in profit upon change in sales whole multiplied by 100. Please note here change represents the present period minus the previous period. I would also like to draw your attention on the different formulas of PV ratio which we have discussed here. As according to the data given in the numerical questions, we will select the most applicable formula to calculate PV ratio. Now, I explain the calculation of different factors in break-even analysis. Please note that contribution can also be calculated with the help of sales and PV ratio. If the both values are given in any of the numerical query, we can calculate contribution as sales multiplied by PV ratio. Similarly, if sales, PV ratio and fixed cost is given in the query, we can calculate profit as sales multiplied by PV ratio and the resulting figure minus fixed cost. We can also calculate fixed cost directly by deducting profit from sales multiplied by PV ratio and we can also calculate variable cost if sales and PV ratio is given in the question with this formula as sales multiplied by 1 minus PV ratio. Please note that we can directly apply all these factors if sales, PV ratio, fixed cost and profit values are already given in our numerical query. Break-even analysis also talks about the per unit variable cost which is calculated as difference between total cost divided by difference between the output. 
we can calculate variable cost per unit with the help of this formula if the values of total cost and the output is given now let us talk about break even point it can be calculated in units as well as in values or volumes bp which is the short form of break even point in units is calculated as fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit as you can see in the given formula we can also calculate bp in units with the help of fixed cost divided by contribution per unit this is the modified formula which we have used earlier we can also calculate break even point in values let's discuss here the bp in values or in rupees when per unit selling price and per unit variable cost is given you can see we divide fixed cost by 1 minus vc per unit divided by sp per unit in other words we can calculate bp in values with the help of this formula sales multiplied by selling price whole divided by selling price minus variable cost we can also calculate bp in values if contribution or pv ratio is given the formula is fixed cost divided by pv ratio we can find bp in values with the help of this formula the last method in break even analysis is margin of safety margin of safety in break even analysis is the excess of budgeted or actual sales over the break even sales volume in other words we can say total sales minus sales at break even point is called as margin of safety margin of safety is calculated with the help of sales and bp margin of safety is equals to sales minus bp we can use this formula when sales and bp values are given we can also find margin of safety if the profit values and pv ratio values are given in the question or if we can find out the profit values and pv ratio in the given numerical query margin of safety is equals to profit divided by pv ratio we also calculate margin of safety ratio in break even analysis which is calculated with the help of the following formulas margin of safety ratio is equals to margin of safety divided by actual sales and the resulting figure multiplied by 100 or we can also calculate with 
actual sales minus BEP, the resulting figure is divided by actual sales and the resulting figure is multiplied by 100. Or we can also calculate with the help of 1 minus BEP, the resulting figure divided by sales and the entire resulting figure is multiplied by 100. Please note, we can use the appropriate formula according to the values given in our numerical query. So, friends, today we discussed about the concepts of break-even analysis. In the present lecture, we have already discussed break-even analysis, cost classification in break-even analysis, assumptions of break-even analysis, and methods in break-even analysis. I hope I am able to clear some of your concepts in break-even analysis. In my next lecture, I will be talking about the numerical portion of break-even analysis. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can contact me at the mail ID given here. Thank you. Thank you very much.